hello everybody you welcome back to tv okotoa channel thank you for your subscriptions for your likes and comments i can see the channel is going god bless you thank you so much so in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to make this structured sleeve is an exaggerated sleeve so this is one of the so many exaggerated sleeve bringing and i just want to show you how to make this so without further ado let's get into the video So these are the materials i'm going to be using for the structured sleeve i have a yard of this red dolphins and i also have a yard of the este which i'm going to be ironing into the fabric and i have the sewable boning that i'm going to be sewing to the head and lastly i have the crinoli these are what i'm going to be using for this structured sleeve final thing i'm going to be using in this video is the basic sleeve pattern i have a video on how to draft a basic sleeve pattern on my channel and i'm going to be leaving the link in the description box below what i need from this basic sleeve pattern is from the ham hole to the elbow length and the rest i'm going to be cutting away with my scissors after cutting away what i'm going to do is to further label my back sleeve i'm home and my front sleeve i'm home because i don't want to mix them up then i'll go ahead to cancel to just use my marker to write cut off mark because i'm going to be separating my sleeve from the very midpoint of the front sleeve and the back sleeve so i need a fresh pattern paper for me to be able to construct this what i'm doing presently is to find the midpoint of this pattern paper because i want to get a straight line so after getting the midpoint what i went ahead to do is to use my marker to mark my midpoint from the midpoint to the lower parts to the upper parts then i'll take my ruler to connect these dotted lines together on a straight line then from the very top of my pattern paper i'm going to measure downward 10 inches which is 25.4 centimeters this is what i'm going to measure downward at both sides of my vertical lines to get a straight horizontal line after getting this the next thing i'm going to be doing is to come out from the very center point where the two lines meet by five inches five inches is 12.7 centimeters and i will go ahead to separate my sleeve pattern from the very midpoint where i crossed marked in order for me to have two piece the front separately and the back separately on the five inches 12.7 centimeters i marked i will place the front sleeve i just separated from the back sleeve then measure downward what i have because i want to mark where i have the length of the front sleeve and also i'll be doing this for the back sleeve just to have a mark that is the length of what i have for both sleeve then i'll go out at the m of the sleeve by 2.5 inches at both sides 2.5 inches in total will give me 5 inches 5 inches in centimeters will give me 6.4 centimeters thereabout i'm going to also rule a straight line across like so and the next thing i'm going to be doing now is to place my front sleeve part on the 5 inches at the top then slant it to where i have my 2.5 inches at the bottom or the hemline i will then go ahead to use my masking tape to hold both down to prevent it from shifting this is what i'm also going to be doing for the back side also just place it the way i placed the front side of the sleeve and once i'm done with this the next thing i'm going to be doing is to through the sleeve m line i'm going to be throwing the sleeve m line now to give me a kind of slightly curvy line and what i did just to prevent my pattern from shifting i went in to use my masking tape to hold it down on the pattern paper firmly after this what i'm going to be doing next is to come up by seven inches 
so i'm going to be coming up by seven inches from the top upward seven inches is 18 centimeters once i'm done coming up by seven inches which is 18 centimeters i will use my curve ruler like so i will place it like so then use it to curve inward and i will also do the same thing for the front side to this is what you're going to do but i kind of have a two pointed edge at the top so i'm using my marker to blend in my line then i'll go ahead to use my correcting fluid to erase the first mark for me to differentiate between what i want and then at the m line what i'm going to do is to go up by seven inches to which is 18 centimeters you can go higher than this or you can go lower this is just what i want to use so it's not a standard that it must be seven inches upward you can reduce it and you can increase it so i'm using seven inches which is 18 centimeters then from the very edge of my back and front sleeve like so just the way i placed my curve you curve like that that is the way you curve and you curve the other one to to the front side like so this is what i have after curving and this is all you need to do but i'm going to explain further after i'm done sewing and everything i'm going to give us a clearer picture in case you don't want yours to be fitted so once i'm done with the sewing and all i'm going to show you an illustration where you can also adjust this sleeve pattern to give you the exact sleeve exaggeration that you want so the next thing i'm going to be doing is to go around the sleeve to add my seam allowance of a 0.5 inches if you are using inches then 1.5 centimeters if you are using centimeters i'm just going to use my curve ruler to join the lines together to give me one connected line then the next thing i'm going to be doing is to go ahead to cut with my pattern scissors this is all that you need to do for the exaggerated sleeve pattern so this is what it's looking like after cutting the sleeve out then i've gone ahead to hang on my hair stay on the fabric i used two layer on the one on the piece that i'm going to be putting at the upper side then one layer on the lining part but you can use gum stay because it's going to make it more firmer but i just decided to go in for just a stay and not gum stay like the color stay or so so i'm going to go ahead to cut with my scissors on the main fabric This is what i have after cutting with my scissors then the next thing i'm going to be doing is to take it to my sewing machine to sew i'm going to go ahead to remove my pattern from the fabric for me to mark my seam allowance on the lining side because i'm going to be using the lining this is where i'm going to be sewing the creloning and the sewable boning so what i'm going to do is to mark my seam allowance of 0.5 inches or in centimeters is 1.5 centimeters so my sewing is going to be on the seam allowance on the on on the mark i just made on the lining this is how it's going to be for me so that when i want to turn it it will be turnable so that is why i'm going to be sewing the creloning on and once i'm done sewing the creloning i'm going to sew my sewable pony on top of it like the way i'm doing now let's just go to the sewing machine i will show you properly i'm trimming off the excesses then i used a masking tape to hold that place together and i'll go ahead to sew on that line i'm not going to be moving it away from the line i'm sewing exactly on that line
once i'm done sewing on the line the next thing i did was to go ahead to sew my sewable boning exactly on that same line this is going to make it easier for me to turn the fabric when i'm ready to turn it after doing this i will pin the ends together both ends of the material i'm going to pin it together then sew a little bit away from the line when i'm joining the lining and the main fabric together i sewed a little away from the line for me to be able to turn it then i took the both sides that is the seam allowance of both fabric together like so so i'm going to sew it together i'll go ahead to notch to be able to pull out that very side i'm going to turn it carefully over to the right side so we can see what we have for it to sleep very well i'll take it to my ironing table to iron it out before coming back to show us the outcome of the sleeve so here i've gone ahead to iron it together and this is how the inner and the outer side is looking i love the fact that it came out well and at this very edge is where you are going to be gathering the first thing i did here was to make gathering stitch first just to gather the hedge together but because i did not use the color stay or the gum the thick gum stay i did not really like the feel of the gathering so what i later did was to loosen up the gathers after trying it out because i did not really like the outcome of the gathers i did so what i did was to make a pleat round the edges instead of gathers i think i prefer the pleat style more than the gathers if you want the gathers you can go ahead to do your gathers so once i'm done with that this is how the result is looking for me i love the way it's looking because i don't really like over exaggerated something like that i don't like it to be too opened or too over exaggerated anyway this is the way i love my own exaggerated sleeve but if you don't like yours this way if you want exactly the way osa's exaggerated sleeve is so these are the things you can do the very first thing you would do is if you notice at uh, the pointed edge that is the lower part of the sleeve is not really pointed so you can extend yours to be more pointed at this very edge where the arrows are presently you can extend yours at both edges so it will make yours it will make your own sleeve more pointed second one is if you want it to be more or less puffy what you will do is to either come up at that very angle by more inches or go low at that angle also by more inches i hope we get this then the third one is if you want to control how open your sleeve is at this very edge where the red arrow is you don't want it to be as low as mine is just like the way it's looking in the picture if you want to control it you can do slash and spread just like the way i slashed open this very angle that will make you control how open you want that area of the sleeve to be but if you don't want to control it you just want it to be excessively opened what you would do is the 10 inches i measured at the upper part will be exactly the 10 inches you measure at the lower part before coming up by seven inches to make your curve so with this you can recreate your own style add more to it or reduce to it to suit you or to suit your clients i hope we get that and so with that we've come to the end of this video i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching to the end please like subscribe leave your thoughts in the comment section till next time Bye-bye.